Hey guys, welcome back to another whole house clean with me. Today's clean with me is in the new house. So if you've been missing from YouTube for a while or maybe you've missed it, we did move. I have an announcement video that explains a lot. We'll answer some of your questions and then I have an empty house tour if you wanna see that. So make sure that you check those out. I will have them linked for you guys in the description box. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Make sure you have your notification bell turned on as well. That will also help to make sure that you get notified but anyways i am cleaning i'm pretty much doing a whole house clean with me i didn't do the girls bedrooms in this one but you will get to see a lot of the house and in this video i didn't have much decor out i do have a little bit more now so if you're following me on instagram you've already seen that you'll definitely get to see things before youtube if you're following me over there you'll get lots of sneak peeks to the ground like to use these glisten garbage disposal cleaning packets in my garbage disposal so they basically clean out and sanitize your garbage disposal so you put it down in there while you're running some water and it breaks apart the packet the packet can go in there it dissolves and it cleans everything out really well it foams up and I love those and I use those about once a week and then I'll use the little lemon plink refreshers about every day just one of those every day just to freshen it up make sure it smells good but I was using one of the garbage disposal cleaners in there today and then if you don't have a garbage disposal they do make a drain fresher refresher <laughs> too so check that out I've showed that in a couple of my videos um, I got them on accident because Walmart was out of the regular ones and that's what they substituted and I just wanted to try them out. So they do have them if you don't have a garbage disposal, they make something for just drains as well. thing that I have trusted on my granite in this house so far is the Jaws granite cleaner or any of their kitchen cleaning line. I'll always have them linked in the description box for you guys and I believe I have a coupon as well. They make a kitchen cleaner like a degreaser and then they make the granite cleaner and they make a disinfectant for the kitchen or I guess you could use that one anywhere as well and then they make like a shower cleaner and a glass cleaner but the reason that I love them is because I can use it on my stainless steel I can use it on glass I can use it on my cooktop I can use it anywhere it doesn't leave streaks and it doesn't leave like a sticky film or anything like that it's non-toxic and you keep the bottle once you get the bottle you'll keep that for as long as it lasts and you just get little refill pods to refill your cleaning solution so you'll pop that in fill it up with water and so in that way it's very eco-friendly and I really enjoy their products I've been using them for quite some time now and like I said I always have them linked but so far that's the only product that I've trusted in this house on the granite And now I'm filling up the Bissell Crosswaves little container with cleaner. They recommend you only use their cleaner, but I always use like Pine Sol or something. Today I'm using the Fabuloso in the lemon scent. It smells so good. It does not have a long lasting scent like it claims though. Shame on you, Fabuloso. Their lavender one does. It's It will last like all day, if not maybe two days, but the lemon one doesn't last that long, but it does smell really good. So that's what I was using and if you're not familiar with the Bissell Crosswave, I do have a video all about it. It's like dedicated completely to it when I first bought it, so you can check that out. But I really do love it, and I highly recommend it. In fact, they recently came out with a cordless one, and I really want that one, but it's like $300. And this one is only like a year and a half old, 
so I can't really justify buying it, but I'm kind of holding out and hoping that they might send it to me so I can review it for you guys, and then maybe they might go on sale for the holidays. So Kinsley was outside playing while I was cleaning and she came in covered in mud. So I had to carry her to the sink and give her a wash down. But that has been like a daily occurrence since we've moved here. She loves to play outside and she loves to play in the mud. So it's a constant battle, but it seems like every time I'm cleaning the floors, this happens. When I was cleaning in this area, I realized that some of the crown molding, not crown molding, the um, baseboards, that's what it is. The baseboards had something on them. So I went and got my magic eraser and I cleaned that off. And I've kind of been doing that. Like I'll walk through and I'll see there's like a spot on the wall or there's a spot on the door or the baseboards. And I've kind of just been cleaning them as I go. But I do plan at some point once I get like completely settled and completely unpacked, which I am mostly unpacked. I just don't have a lot, all of my decor unpacked, but I do plan to go in each room and like do a deep, deep clean. But so far I've just kind of been going in and wiping down things as I see them.
this shelf is not how it's going to be I just kind of set some things up there as I had unpacked them it is a little bit more decorated now you might have seen on Instagram but I just can't quite figure out what I'm gonna do with the other side of the fireplace so I'm just gonna think on it for a while because I kind of want them to be even out at, like in some ways but then I don't want it to be like too much stuff so I don't know what I'm gonna do I've been looking on Pinterest because on the other side of the fireplace, you can see there's nothing there, but I do have the coffee table there. So I don't really want to put something over there and make it like too busy, but without something there, it looks too empty. See what I'm saying? So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might hang something big on the wall or I might end up doing like two bookshelves on either side. I don't know yet. and now i'm showing you all of the dirty water from the vessel and that's just from the kitchen and the living room i didn't get to the other areas of the house on this day but this was my first initial like really deep clean i guess of the floors and that's the water what it looked like afterwards so gross but that's like what we had been tracking in from moving and just living here and not being able to get to it like i normally would although i will say pretty much every time i use the bissel it comes out pretty gross but i love it because i can see all that it's picking up it picks up so much and when you empty it out you can see like hair in there and debris because it does vacuum and mop at the same time so it does a really, really good job. So you see me put my husband's shorts under his pillow and that's because he, those are like his sleep shorts and he will wear them a couple of nights in a row because he showers, puts those on to sleep and then takes them off in the morning. So I just put them under his pillow that way when he's getting ready for bed, he can just grab them and that's just what I do in case anybody saw that and thought that was weird. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I do have some things hung up in here so in my next video you will see those things that I've hung up in the bedroom 
Um, and then I did get some curtains in there as well. So make sure that you stay tuned so you can see how everything has been coming along. But this is our master bathroom and I'm going to give it a quick clean, not a deep clean, but I wanted to wipe down the counters and kind of organize everything. I did run bleach through the jets in the bathtub. You'll see that at the end. And I did steam up the floor. When it's hurting, does never add up to peace. You start to wonder who's playing. Play me, play who? Lucky I'm stronger than ever. Got the arrangement to leave. You can go on and collect some memories of me. Abandoning is a hard word to use, but it's true. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know if you're new. Let me know in the comments so I can say hey. And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and be a part of our little family that we have here. And follow me on Instagram if you want to. I post all my stories over there. You guys will definitely get to see things beforehand um, as far as decorating in the house and just normal life things that don't have anything to do with cleaning at all. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.